two million pound car, you ship it to Australia and set up a base camp, you take every possible precaution to avoid failure, but nobody can foresee cyclonic rainstorms which ruin your chances, flooding an area normally dry as a desert. Donald Campbell and his team have had to accept as philosophically as possible this untimely termination to an arduous 12 months of preparation, an enterprise costing around a thousand pounds a day. Here's a vivid illustration of the way the salt crust is deteriorating. Lake Eyre hasn't had so much water in it since 1950. Tents and equipment waiting to be dismantled are already waterlogged. Bluebird's former garage. In spite of the bitter disappointment, Donald Campbell was able to make the right comment that he should have planned for an attempt on the world water speed record. 